Hello everyone, it's Tori from Bits of Polish. Welcome to my channel. If you were new, if you are a longtime viewer, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I have a really small Polish pickup haul to share with you. This is what I purchased for the month of December. I had to think about that for a minute. When I'm filming this, it is New Year's Day. So Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope your year is off to an amazing start. We are talking about December PPU in today's video, and I have lots of goodies to share with you. I won't lie, I have several of these that are probably going to be contenders for my winter rack that I am putting together as we speak, and I am ready to wear these. They are so beautiful. Keep in mind, when I'm filming this, I am still recovering from hand surgery, so swatching will be just a little bit different this time around because I am one-handed. I do have a brace on currently. But I'm going to try to keep that out of frame if possible so it's not getting in my road. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we're starting off with this beautiful polish. This is by Atomic, and this is called Red Drum. This is described as being a candy red polish with Aurora pigment that shifts from orange to red. I don't know about you guys, but I saw swatches of this for PPU last month and just about died. <laughs> Not literally, but you get the idea. I just knew I had to have this. It is a beautiful polish. Probably something I could have easily duped from my collection, but it was too pretty to not purchase. Just look at all of that gorgeousness in this bottle. This is so beautiful. So this is what it looks like in three coats. I did feel like it was a little bit squishy. Um, I am swatching on a clear nail wheel, so that could easily be why it looked a little bit more squishy than what I was expecting. So two coats may work just fine with this, or you may need three. But this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I am going to have to try to put a video together to see if I have polishes that are similar to this color story just for my own curiosity, but this was too pretty to pass up, and I thought, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sucker for red polish, so I had to get this one. So that is three coats of Atomic Polish Red Drum. This next one was one I was iffy about initially, but I am really glad I got it. It is by BCB Lacquer, and this is called Marana. This, as you can see, has loads of reflective glitters, Look at that sparkle that is popping through on camera. I could not believe it. My jaw dropped when I saw this, when I first pulled it out of the packaging. This is just beautiful. So this is described as a black jelly base with a strong pink to orange to gold shimmer, fuchsia micro glitters, and blue reflective glitter. I don't know about you, but I love a good reflective polish. And this was just one that was speaking to me. It is absolutely stunning. You get all of those gorgeous color shifts. I'm going to take turn my light off and see if it'll... There we go. I wanted to tone down that reflective glitter so you can see just how shifty that base of this polish is. This is gorgeous. So beautiful. This is it, and I believe I did two coats. You could tell here it dries down textured. I did not use a glitter smoother when I did this. I should have. I did not have a glitter smoother handy when I did my top coating. So it is one that's going to dry down rather thirsty, be textured. A glitter smoothing top coat under your top regular top coat would be ideal for this polish. But I'm hoping you guys can see all of that gorgeous shiftiness here in this polish. It is beautiful. That is two coats of BCB Lacquer Marana. This next one I saw, I knew I had to pick up. I did recently see Atticus from Atticus Loves Lacquer on Instagram. He talked about this polish recently, and I knew I had to get it, and he swatched it, and I'm like, oh, that's when I ordered. I had to double check and make sure I ordered it, and boy, was I glad when I did, because he made it look absolutely stunning in his video. So this is called Winter is So Chill. It's by Bluebird Lacquer. I don't know if I said that already. 
So this is a periwinkle jelly polish that has scattered hollow with a strong pink shimmer and subtle shifts of gold to green. This just looked so perfect for this time of year. This is beautiful. I have several Bluebird lacquer polishes in my collection and I have not shown them near enough love and I really need to start pulling them out. This is one that's going to go on my winter rack, so I am excited about that. I did mention, I think, earlier in the video that some of these were going to be contenders for my winter rack. This one is definitely going to be that way as well because she is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the size of those beautiful flakes. And you've got this beautiful periwinkle base, plus that shifty shimmer. Yes, please. On my swatch, I believe this is three coats. But look at that sparkle. Look at that beautiful sparkle. This is stunning. I have my winter rack. At the time of filming this, I have my winter rack almost full. Um, I did get my husband to choose polishes for that rack as well. So you guys will be seeing that video here in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out for my winter rack video. But you may see some of these on there, I'm sure, because they are that beautiful. So this is three coats of Bluebird Lacquer's Winter is So Chill. These next two, I am so excited about. They are just absolutely beautiful. So we have this one from Kathleen & Co. This is Cassiopeia. This, you guys, is stunning. This polish is described as being a blackened blue base with shifty red to orange to green shimmer and lots and lots of hollow flakes. Just look at this gorgeous polish. I swatched it and was like, wait a minute, back up here. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. And it was in the first coat, and I'm like, oh my goodness. You build this up in that second coat, and it is so dark, so vampy, so shifty. It is beautiful. If you got your hands on this beauty, you're not going to be disappointed. I cannot wait to put this one on. So here it is. On my swatch I believe it was three coats it was a little bit sheer on that second coat so I did build it up to three but look at the gorgeous gorgeous stuff going on in this bottle just look at this absolutely beautiful polish this is so pretty so beautiful so that is three coats of Kathleen and Co Cassiopeia the final one is this one from Noodles Nail Polish. This is called Holiday Sangria. I was on the fence about this initially, and I don't remember if I put it in my wish list video that I shared with you guys. I think I did. I'm so glad I picked it up because she's beautiful. This polish is described as being a berry crelly with hollow flakes, red and raspberry metallic glitters, and fine copper hollow glitters. It's beautiful. This is perfect for this time of year. I love colors like this. I do hope I can put this on my winter rack. I'm not sure if I'm going to at this point, just because removal of polishes like this while I am recovering from surgery can be a little bit tricky. I may wear it and then have to leave it on until my husband can help me take it off. But she's beautiful. This is such a beautiful polish. This is it in three coats. I believe you can build it up in two coats to full opacity. I did three because I felt like it needed that extra third, but you may be fine in two. They're stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So that is three coats of Noodles Nail Polish Holiday Sangria. So here we have all of those beautiful polishes side by side. I'm going to go ahead and throw out what my favorites are for in this haul. Definitely this beautiful polish from Atomic. That is one I'm going to be pulling for winter. This is gorgeous. We are technically in winter right now, but I did just get this package in the mail and was like, oh my goodness, this one's going to have to go on my nails for sure. Sorry for the shakiness. Again, I am trying to work with my 
hand that's recovering from surgery, so things are a little bit shaky at this point, and I do apologize. I think a second favorite of mine is going to be the Bluebird Lacquer. I shouldn't say second favorite because I feel like I really love each of these. So I'm just going to go that way. We're not going to pick a favorite for this month. I don't generally share with you guys which ones I have as a favorite when I do videos like this, but I thought it would be fun to share this to let you guys know which polishes I really, really love. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I am excited to pull these out for sure. So that is it, guys. That's it for today's haul. If you picked any of these up, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you got your hands on for December. If you got any of the similar ones that I did, let me know. I would love to hear if we have similar taste. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you in the next one.